<laughs> and so if if a super intelligence is out there and it's going to be ubiquitous, there's a 200 IQ, 300 IQ, 1000 mm -hmm. IQ agent interacting with everybody, you really want your 1000 IQ agent to be representing you agentically to all the other agents, right? And not be tricked and not be exploited and not be taken advantage of, right? And what, what are we seeing? As soon as a new model gets released, almost instantly, everybody's using the new model, right? That's the best outcome is not where there's some centralized force that has the smartest AI, but we all have access almost instantly to the same best, smartest AI, right? And so I wrote an article about this in, in 2016, right? How does blockchain help us survive the coming of strong AI? And what I argued is what we want is for good AI to get the more resources. And I'm defining bad AI as like trying to trick or steal or do fraud, right? right? By definition, that's always a tiny part of the economy because it doesn't produce anything, right? It's, it's Tolkien, right? You know, evil can only corrupt and not, cannot create. Right, by definition, right? It's just taking, it's not making new life or building things, right? And so because it's now open source and transparent, I think we're we're in a good spot. Awesome.